So, what can we do to help? I brought in a special guest today, my cousin Aguilas. Hello. Who is going to give us a few ways that we can break up with plastic. So, sustainability, uh, when, we, when we think about sustainability, we generally think about uh, three aspects. That is, uh, reduce, reuse, and recycle. So, you as a person can only really do, uh, can only really reduce. Because recycling and uh, reusing requires the munici uh, municipality, requires uh, the government to be involved in some way or matter. But reducing is basically your own, let's say, uh, not responsibility, but your own uh, choice. Choice, yeah. You can, it's the one thing that you can definitely do by, your, by yourself. So, what can you do to reduce your impact? First of all, plastic bags, the most common and least biodegradable kind of waste that is found uh, globally. And uh, the one, uh, the first one actually, that you can cut down, um, especially these really thin bags that basically serve no purpose other than just going to the market or to any shopping. Uh, basically, it's usually in the markets and uh, you buy something and then you throw it away. So instead of just using it once and then going to landfills, you can use the alternative that is this fabric. fabric. Tote bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so whenever you go clothes shopping or food shopping or whatever, you can just use one of these, pack them up in your bags, carry them around, and they're much more eco-friendly. So yeah. So, number two. Try not to use um, plastics uh, that can be used only for a single time. So basically any type of spoon, cup, uh, straws, uh, mugs, uh, anything you can find that... Water bottles. Water bottles uh, that is used only once is bad for obvious reasons that you just throw it away again, like there's no other use for it. So you can use like a thermos, you can carry around. Um, a water bottle that you can reuse, this one's plastic but it holds cold and warm liquids. You can get glass ones, you could get uh, metal ones. A spork. A spork, which is out of bamboo. It's a bamboo spork. As well as, where's the straw? Uh, we have straws. We well. have a straw. Look, you might have taken it. Yes, but a bamboo straw. <laughs> um, there are also metal straws that can be used too. Number three. Uh, body care. So, when it comes to body care, there are many of you who will be using scrubs, but have, that has the small beads that are basically just small plastic that sticks around. You know, it's it um, microorganisms haven't developed proper um, methods of like decomposing cleaning, them. Yeah, cleaning them out of the oceans. As mentioned before, it's like one of the biggest issues because so many. Uh, marine life consume microplastics and because they're so small it's hard to clean out so we want to avoid them and how do we do that old good old school soap soap bar of soap this one Rub looks like the ocean on too. your body <laughs> and for feel awesome the results. cleanliness <laughs> And this cool old school shaver that is basically just all stainless steel, and you can like uh, unwind it like it's like a butterfly, and you mm -hmm. take the blade and you put it back in. So you just have to change the blades, which are also 100% steel and are 100% recyclable. And so yeah, this is much better than using, uh, you know, the one-time plastic razors. It's much better for the environment and much better for your skin. So, yeah. Number four, packaging. So when you go to the supermarket and oh, by the way, we found the, the straw, the straw, the bamboo that straw. We thought that the, the demon cat uh, Floki had taken, but it was on my lap all along. So yeah. <laughs> so sorry, Floki. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to packaging, um, 
basically when you look at the supermarket there are so many containers that are made out of plastic and uh, that there are alternatives actually for that so for example uh, when it comes to cleaning detergents there are um, paper or cardboard ba uh, made that uh, so you see some of them have uh, like one and a half uh, two liter capacity plastic and there's the equivalent in cardboard so if you can why not go for the option that actually has the potential of biodegrading? Oh, yeah. And another thing I like to do whenever I go out for food, um, I like to bring a Tupperware with me so that if I have leftover food, instead of asking them to package it away, which they usually put it in like small plastic Tupperware or like a mm -hmm. plastic bag or something, you have this. It actually pops out. It's super cool. Yes. Compact. And compact, yeah. Number five. That you can find. Like, where is it going with The plastic ring that you can find in bottles of water, single use, that uh, when you throw the bottle off, these stick around and um, when they reach landfills and then eventually the oceans and the birds pick at them or. Uh, at, in the sea, so animals can get stuck in them and suffocate. Mm -hmm. So if you can, break, cut it, break it off and... It's really easy, it, two seconds and you can save a life. Number six. That's six, not at seven. Number six. <laughs> uh, the worst and my favorite, cigarette butts. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, it has become socially acceptable for smokers to be throwing their butts on the ground and uh, cities clean the ground or, or, like many times so you don't see it. Uh, okay, in Athens you see it a lot but generally speaking many times you don't see it but these butts after the landfills reach the oceans. So imagine this, there are 5.6 trillion uh, cigarettes consumed yearly and out of those 4.4 it become litter so imagine like almost all of them basically end up as uh, landfill and polluting the oceans and uh, so uh, also they take like 10 to 15 years to decompose biodegrade decompose so that's not, not something that uh, is desirable especially considering humanity like rapid development mm -hmm. and constant waste production so, uh, the alternative to, if you're smoking that is, if so, you smoke... Yeah, the best thing is to not smoke, to cut cigarettes. But, but if you do... <laughs> if you do, there is the portable ashtray. ashtray. <laughs> so, this, it's very old, but I am trying to stop smoking, but until I do that, I have this portable ashtray with me. So if I'm around, I have no excuse to be like, if there's not trash around, I don't throw it down. I put it in here, seal it, it, it burns it out. What is it called? Mm -hmm. Those vim. It uh, lights it out? No. No. That's not the word. Anyway, you put it in here and it's safe and it doesn't smell. You just put it in your bag and then whenever you see a trash can, you can just empty it in the trash can so you don't just throw them. Because especially in Greece, there's so many beaches where mm -hmm. you just see sand and cigarette butts like it's not a giant ashtray please pick up after yourself or at least if you do that and you use the sand to put out your cigarettes pick them up make sure you pick them up after before you leave don't be assholes don't be an asshole yeah so and the last one is feminine care or hygiene the so experts. the expert <laughs> no so the First thing I would like to talk about for that is the Diva Cup, or I think they go by a lot of names. Mine is Diva mm. Cup. So it comes in this little cotton bag, and it looks like this, okay? It's just a plastic cup. Um, and you can use instead of a tampon, you looks just- like a nipple, actually. It kind of does, a really pointy one, mm. but. And you kind of just fold it up. There are many sizes to it. I think they are, I think mm. this is, a large if I'm not mistaken and there's a medium and a small um, so yeah you just put it up there it opens and it basically just keeps everything in um, and then you pull it out wash it out boil it whatever 
you need to do to get it clean and then you can just use it again. And it's perfect because no way. Because tampons, if you think about it, like each girl. The amount. <laughs> yeah, the amount. During each girl during her period must use like at least one to two boxes of tampons. That's insane. And then even for pads, I don't have any to show you. But even pads are so bad because they're not like they're not paper or anything. They're plastic as well. And they have like scents and stuff, which is bad for your lady parts, but it's another subject. <laughs> you should get fabric ones. You can make them, you can order them. And yeah, it's a bit harder to deal with because you have to wash them and you need many more, but it is better for your body. It is better for the environment. So you should check that out. So yeah. Don't use single packaged foods. <laughs> True. Try to avoid, if not completely eliminate, of course, single package uh, goods. Like when you see cheese packaged in like a container that each slice, individual slice, is like in a different plastic container, it's just like avoid So that. unnecessary. So or slice is like, like fruit that are in plastic bags. Like I had seen an orange which was peeled and then put in a plastic container. Like it has its peel for a reason. So try and buy your fruits not in plastic bags, your cheese, get it from the stand, you know. Um, it's like they're, they're trying to to uh, replace the natural packaging with the synthetic one that is act that actually does not disappear like yeah. the time. And it's probably our fault because humans were so lazy. We just, we don't want to peel the orange, we don't want to peel the banana or whatever, just but... Just tear the plastic, <laughs> throw it in the trash and like grab at it. Oh my. And okay. then the cat is just doing... Sorry, he's like ruining the house, but it's fine. Chaos. <laughs> so, yeah. We've talked today about all sorts of plastic, but basically there's so many other types of waste, but plastic is so instrumental in actually... Uh, because it causes so much environmental damage. Like, used. So, if you use less of the plastic, it won't reach the landfills. So, uh, you prevent it. Prevention is the best... Mm -hmm. uh, method of helping the planet recover from our damage and it's something that us as citizens can do really easy it's like very simple for each and every person to help the environment by taking these few simple steps and of course many many more but even one action if every person did one action differently it would help a tremendous amount so also also if you want to take it one step further next time you go to the beach mm -hmm. try to get to grab three pieces of trash, like anything. At least, yeah. We try whenever we go to the beach to pick up a bag of trash, which still isn't enough. Like, there's so much, you're always so overwhelmed. But yeah, as Aguilo said, like, try and pick up at least three items from the beach, from your street, anywhere. Because as we said, most of the land waste does end up in the ocean. So anywhere you pick up trash will help. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you soon. Bye. What can we do to help? I've invited today my cousin Aigelos. Hello. <laughs> well, <laughs> system offline. That's a brand new video. So, plastic bags. The worst kind of polluting, um, <laughs> the plastic bag, the notorious plastic bag that has been plaguing the oceans and our ecosystems for like or about 60, 70 years, but it's creating enormous waste. So the first stage is um, plastic bags should be eliminated, obviously, because of the damage they <laughs> Okay, man. Okay. <laughs> 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 Βγάζει βίντεο το σύμφωνο.